if this video has found you i trust it has found you for a reason please take what resonates and leave what doesn't sweet angel you are wondering about this current love connection about this very specific person and you are wondering if it's going to come back into reconciliation what's going to happen within this connection as well as i feel like the energy of why is there disruption happening it's like you want to know what the blocks are you want to know why it's not happening right now and what i do see immediately is this person desiring of reaching out to you this person i felt called to just completely channel without my cards so i'm going to connect to my angels and really dive in here this person is wanting to reach out to you but they don't want to play games they feel like they played a lot of games with you in the beginning they feel like they it's like they did not intend for things to get so serious between the two of you they did not intend to feel so deeply for you and as soon as they started to feel so deeply they immediately wanted to run away what I do see though, just so that you can know this is for you and you can pick up on certain signs and cues, this person uh, gradually pulled away. This wasn't all at once. It doesn't feel like they necessarily ghosted you, at least not completely, maybe for like a few days at a time or a few days here and there. And it kept you in this really just awkward energy is what it feels like. Um, you began to question yourself within this connection Something about the moon is very significant, like a pet name so that has to do with the moon. Um, I'm also seeing a necklace, like a pendant necklace. So this person may have either talked about getting you a pendant or has gotten you a pendant. And it just feels like they did a lot of actions that led you to believe that this connection was something more serious. And their intention behind those actions was actually genuine love. Like this person genuinely just intended like they just wanted to show you that they loved you they didn't realize how much they were actually investing in your connection and by the time they realized i'm hearing it was just too late they i'm hearing they really slowed things down something about fishing is also significant here i feel like this person spent a lot of time like hunting or fishing or um like i'm seeing out on the boat in the woods um a lot of time with the boys so this could have to do with just spending time with their boys so like a lot of just activities where you didn't really feel included and it almost felt like there was a lot of room left open for you know other energies to influence this connection including other people and there was certainly temptation involved like i am seeing that this person has talked to a few people here and there I'm also seeing this person has been with a few people here and there, so I'm not sure if that's something that you're aware of, something that you are wondering about. Um, they don't take any of that seriously. Like, they take you more serious than they do m mostly anything else in their life, which isn't saying a lot because they obviously are not taking it too seriously. Um, they don't even realize. It's like, I just keep getting this energy of like they didn't realize how serious things would get between you two. And as far as any other third parties or any other people um, involved in this connection, a lot of flings, um, just like nothing serious at all. Um, this person gets bored really easily, but for some reason you stay consistently in the back of this person's mind is what I'm being told. I'm also hearing you ask the question like, why did you do this to us? Like, why did you do this to me? And again, the answer is I didn't know what I was doing. This person, um, they're just really in this energy of like, I didn't know, like I, they didn't even realize that they were capable of experiencing this depth of love for you. So I want to dive in a little more specifically to where this relationship is moving rather than, you know, like what has already been for you. So let's just kind of move into that energy. They do want to reach out to you. They're going to reach out to you. Something about a bonfire is significant. This feels like, like I'm getting a lot of country vibes here. So maybe country is significant for you. I'm also getting like small town vibes, you know, uh, truck vibes. Um, I'm seeing like your name light up on their phone and they're looking at it, but just kind of ignoring it and just kind of like, putting their head like like looking out the window like not wanting to respond to it. it's almost like they don't want to face your connection or like face you at this time because it's just so much emotionally for them i'm also seeing drinking coming into the picture here it's like they would rather prioritize pretty lower vibrational habits here than you know facing there's something about falling into love that is really scary to this person like i'm being shown like falling into a black hole 
something that they don't want to relive from their childhood. I am feeling like, like I'm being shown that their parents fought a lot. There was never a lot of peace in the home. I'm also seeing that this person has been in a lot of relationships like that. Like that's almost where they find home and they think that that's normal. Like they think that that's love. Or it's almost like they know that that's not love, but at least it's familiar. It's what comforts them because they feel like they have some sort of control. It's like they they swallowed their emotions. They kind of hid away from their sel themselves and um, just turned that into a behavior, a toxic behavior that like grew old with them is what I'm being shown. I am seeing, so this is really interesting. Um, I am seeing this person going through something pretty serious. I don't want to say it's like an accident necessarily. This could be relating to work, but it's just like something where um, th things get disrupted in their life and it's going to change their perspective on love. Like this could even be a baby being brought into the picture. Um, this could be with you. This could be with somebody else. Um, if you are not desiring of having that happen, just be careful when you do come into union because I do see you coming into union again but I also see this person coming forward in more serious energy like ready to have a deeper conversation and ready to face a few of the shadows but hold on it's really important for you to not overwhelm this person when they do come forward to you wanting to talk uh, because they are going to dive deeper than they ever have with you they're going to share some secrets they're going to let you know of their awareness of what's going on but they are not ready to dive too deep. And so if you get too excited about this, because you're ready, you've been ready for this communication, it could actually scare this person off. So just keep that in mind. Let this person come to you and just like let it be easy. Let it flow in and let it flow out. Don't hold on to what they say. Don't overthink it. Just really enjoy the present moment with this person. Okay, the baby feels separate from like the, the accident or like life-changing event. It feels like something that they want to have happen. It's almost like they are in search of that, but they don't have a set, like they're not set on it with you necessarily. They really feel a deep connection of friendship to you. They feel like unafraid to be in your energy. It's something different, but it's like, I don't want to say it's like too easy. It's just like too peaceful. It's like not what they're used to. It's not chaotic enough. It's not toxic enough for this person basically. Like basically you are not toxic enough for this person and their behavioral patterns. And you are someone that they can grow into. Like the relationship that you share with this person is something that they can grow into. I want to see if I can channel a couple of specific messages from this person just to provide you peace of mind at this time. So I am hearing that they are trying really hard to be something different for themselves. Like I'm being shown on a scale, you are a small portion of this person's focus at this time. I'm not saying you're not like this person doesn't have anyone else as a priority in their life, but you are in that mix. Like you, there's something that stands out to this person about you. Like I was saying, okay, so incoming communication confirmation but like I was saying there's something very special about you to this person and they don't want to let that go like they really want to see see what this could turn into but they need it to be a friendship right now I'm also being shown that at this point in your life a serious relationship isn't necessarily something that needs to be a priority in your life so this might actually be beneficial for you like learning how to love just on it like bring more ease into love bring more release into love divine spirit are there any last messages surrounding this love connection okay i'm being shown a moon and i'm being shown two wolves one black and one white there's something very significant about this connection. There is a greater purpose to this connection and you are not meant to let this connection go. You are not meant to let this connection go. You are meant to practice forgiveness. You are meant to practice acceptance. Big emphasis on self-love, but do not let this connection go. Let it be what it is and let it show you what you are meant to see. There's a much bigger world beyond what you have been led to believe relationships are supposed to be and this person you're supposed to walk into that world with this person if you would like to receive a channeled message of your own this is now available on my website you can click the link in my bio and i look forward to channeling for you if you feel called